Hello and welcome again. In this lecture, we will set up the basic configuration for both of our hoses. Previously, we configured our hoses with multiple network adapters and a shared drive. In this video, we will configure the host name and IP addresses. I'm going to log into server 1 as a root user. So I will open the console, type the password and hit enter key. Once logged in, we can see our host name is set to localhost for server 1. In order to change the host name, we will type a command called hostname ctl space set dash hostname and the hostname we want to set it to. So in our case, we will name it to server 1. Then we will press the enter key. The new hostname has been set but it has not been reflected yet. In order to reflect it, you can log out from your server and re-log back in or you can type exec exec bash. As you can see, our server name is updated to server 1. We will repeat the same process in server 2 as well. So let's back to the server console, log in as the root user, enter the password. And here we will type hostname ctl set dash hostname space server 2. In order to reflect the changes, you can type exec bash and hit the enter key. Now both of our server has a meaningful host name. Next we will configure the IP addresses. We will assign IP addresses to both of our Linux servers for private heartbeat links and the cluster communication links. Before we assign the links, let's see what do we have in server 1. In order to get the IP address information, I will type IP space A and press enter key in server 1. We can see we have four network adapters in total shown. The first one is LO or loopback interface. We can ignore that. The remaining three are what we connected to these servers. ENP0 S3 network already has an IP address obtained from our router since we chose this network type to be bridge network adapter. We can connect to the bridge network adapter interface by any terminal application from our host machine. Terminal application such as Buddy, MOBA XTERM or if you are using a Mac you can use terminal application itself. Let's check what do we have in the server 2 as well. So I will type the same command IP space A and then press the enter key. Here we have another IP address. Make note of these IP addresses. We will connect to these servers using MOBA XTERM. Here I have MOBA XTERM opened. In order to connect to the server 1, I will type SSH username which is root at the rate IP address of the machine which is 10.00.226. Enter the password and press enter key. Now we are successfully logged into server 1. Next we will assign the IP addresses to ENP0S8 and ENP0S9 network interface. Let's list the connections in our server. We will type NMCLI CON connection show. Now we can see we have one connection named ENP0S3 which is associated with the device ENP0S3 as well. This is the same connection name which we saw under IP space A input. We will create a new connection and then assign it to the similar device name to ENP0S8. Then we will assign an IP address to that connection. We can achieve the same scenario in one command as well. So we will add a new connection with NMCLI space connection add. Connection dash name we will keep it same name as the interface name so ENP0S8 space type we will type Ethernet if name or interface name we will type it ENP0S8 next we will say IPv4 dot method which is manual space IPv4 dot address the address we will use based on the lab guide for the first interface we will assign it 10.10.10 .10 .10 .10 forward slash 24 and press the enter key our first connection has been added successfully we will repeat the same command in order to repeat it we can use upper arrow on your keyboard then we will change the values from the ip address from 10 we will change it to 11 for the interface name we will change it to s9 and then similarly the connection name will be s9 as well press the enter key now both of our connections are added successfully. We can verify it with NMCLI CON space show. You can see there are three interfaces and three connections. Further, we can verify the IP addresses as well. So type IP space A, press enter. 
now we have ENP0 S8 and ENP0 S9 network interface cards with their own IP addresses. Both of these network interface cards will be used as a private link for VCS cluster. We have to repeat the same process in server 2 as well. So we will SSH to server 2 using SSH root at IP address of the server 2. I will enter the password and now we are successfully logged in to server 2. We can scroll up. Since the network device names are the same, we will copy this command but we will change the IP addresses based on the lab guide. We will create the new connection associated with the device but the IP address we will change it to 10.10.10.20. Press enter. Next network interface name we will change the values from 8 to 9 on both places for connection name as well as for interface name and the IP address we will keep it to 21. Now we can do NMCLI connection show and here we have three connections with three devices. Don't worry about the wired connections. These connections are here but they are not associated to any physical network interface card so they can be ignored. You can also delete them if you want. Since we have assigned the IP addresses now we should be able to ping server 1 from server 2. Let's try that. So 10.10.10.10 and press the enter key. Here we can see we can ping it with the IP address. We should be able to ping the next IP address as well since they are on the same subnet. Now exit from the server 2. From the server 1 we can try pinging server 2 IP as well which is 10.10.10.20. We have a solid communication. One more thing we need to configure is the host name resolution. Since we don't have the DNS server in place we will use a local etc hosts file to do the name resolution. Name resolution is one of the requirements for our Veritas cluster server. Nodes which will be forming the cluster, they should have name resolution working in order to get the installation done. Let's clear our console by typing clear. Press enter. Here we will edit the etc slash hosts file. So we will type vi space forward slash etc forward slash hosts. Press the enter key. You can press O which will open the terminal in insert mode and at the bottom line here we will enter the IP address of our server 1 and server 2 so 10.10.10.10 for server 1 enter then 10.10.10.20 and then space server 2 press escape colon w q and then press enter key now our local DNS resolution is in place we should be able to ping server 2 by its host name instead of its IP address. So if I type ping server 2 and then press enter key we can ping server 2. We need to make the same change in server 2's hostess file as well. We will do ssh root at server 2 then press enter and then enter the password. Here we can edit the same file. Bring your cursor down press O. Once you are in the insert mode, type same 10.10.10.10 for server 1 and 10.10.10.20 for server 2. Save and quit the file. From server 2, now we should be able to ping server 1 using its host name. Alright, so we are done with the basic configuration. In the next section, we will download the Veritas cluster server software and then we will install it, configure it as per our lab guides. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next lecture.